Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purpose, to keep you up and get you aware of what is happening in the contraption called Nigeria, more especially. I bring the information to your doorstep. They are not lies. Most of the videos you're going to watch here are videos that are coming from the conventional media. And some of us sometimes are lazy to get into it. Some of us are, sometimes are too busy to be able to lay our hand on this. That is why I bring the videos to your doorstep. Watch from beginning to the end. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes so that you can be educated and know what is going on. Let us watch together. At the end, you can go to the comment section and put down your comment. Give your opinion. Say it the way you feel it. Nobody's going to come against you. It's a free world, and this is the social media where people say it and set the record straight exactly the way it is without being controlled. Do that on the comment section. Let us watch the video together as it comes. Thank you. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiko Abubakar, yesterday mocked his counterpart in the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC Balatino, as a clown who was only fit to contest the post of Grand Comedian of the Federal Republic. Atiku advised the APC to immediately replace Tinubu following his seizing helpless gaffes to avoid further embarrassment. The PDP alleged that Tinubu was only suitable for the position of comic chief and never president of Nigeria, going by his error reading utterances, which signifies failing health. Atiku said in a statement that it was common knowledge that Tinubu goofed every time <clears throat> he came to the public space. The statement added that APC's seven and a half years reign was a side reminder of Nigeria's arrested development. Since 2015, when he came to power, he said Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwolu claimed at the Lagos rally that Tinubu would lift Nigerians out of hardship and hunger as an indictment on the APC as an admission that indeed over 133 million Nigerians now live in abject poverty, as reported by the National Bureau of Statistics. Okay. Uh, Aya, what's your take on this? Right. Thank you very much and good morning. Welcome to a new week with mm. I, Dr. Abatino, of course, you, um, everyone yeah. else. Now, interesting way to start off this week. Um, from the comments, especially saying that stating that the presidential candidate of the APC should be contesting instead for um, as a comedian. And um, one of the things, let me, let, let's go back to why the presidential candidate of the PDP would make such a statement. Going back to some of the speeches at campaign rally grounds of the APC presidential candidate, we have seen what could be termed as a slip of tongue, an error or a mistake. But a number of people have analyzed this to say that errors or slips of tongues one too many. Uh, just um, on Saturday at the Lagos APC rally at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Surulere, where there was a massive turnout as expected, for the APC presidential candidate. He had mentioned that people should get their APV or APC, whereas he was meant to say PVC to turn out en masse to vote. Um, earlier in, in, or in Joss, he had actually referred um, when he was saying, Good, God bless, he was going to say God bless his party, APC, and he said PD, APC. Some of these things have been trending. At the Kadin, um, Kaduna uh, Investment Summit earlier in October this year, he had said the governor, who is a member of his party and one of his supporters, um, um, was turning a rotten situation to a bad one. So there are many what people would term as gaffes that the presidential candidate of the APC has made in recent times. We could, I mean, a, a, a human being is a human being. So you are allowed to make errors. You can make mistakes. You can, you might not be, for the sake of argument, an excellent orator or public speaker. And so when you're, you know, you're in front of people, you tend to make mistakes. However, unfortunately. This has brought into question the capacity of the APC presidential candidate to, to um, vie for the highest office in the land if he's unable to properly address people without making an error. Indeed, um, what they, uh, people have come, asked questions around other things, even beyond what he said at, um, you know, during speeches. And famously, the House of Rep Speaker, um, Honorable Bajabia Mila, had said, as thrown as if challenging people who had 
mocked him or uh, made him trend on social media, saying that if they ask, they're asking a lot of questions. If they ask you who is Tunubu, tell them that he's, a, he's the greatest politician. Uh, if they ask you what is his age, tell them to go and ask his mother. Funny and little things like this that politicians essentially should not use to distract the main issue. So oftentimes when we find candidates throwing jabs at one another, it then becomes a distraction to the main issue. The truth is that the office, the highest office in the land, is an important and critical one indeed. We have a country to fix. We have a nation that is not in the best state economically, health-wise, in different sectors. And so we're looking for the best man for the job. What we have said consistently and urged the candidates to do is to face the issue squarely, to address issues. Yes, you can make a comment about your candidate, but more than that, what should be making headlines this morning should be what they hope to do and the quality of the statements that they are making. Dr. Bati? Okay. It's as follows. In that statement by Frank Shaibo, responding to the presidential candidate of the uh, All Progressive Congress, APC, on behalf of his boss, the PDP presidential candidate. Well, I mean, I, I was shocked that Frank Shaibu has uh, such level of toxicity uh, within him because he not only threw kitchen intensus at uh, uh, Ashwa Jubala Metinumbu of the APC, he, he removed the whole sink and threw in his face. Complete below the bed attack, slanderous, uh, you know, attacks, hate speech, use of foul language, use of indecorous uh, language, including saying that Ashwa Jubala Metinumbu is looking for an automatic employment without going through an interview. He even uh, said he has to clear issues about his name, his identity, his education, and even hinted at uh, his connection with heroin trafficking and all that. I mean, I don't want to, re uh, uh, you know, uh, restate all the uh, details, uh, even accusing him of dementia. Now, let's go to the basic principles. Again and again, the uh, uh, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, I told this uh, politicians and their surrogates that look, hate speech, abusive language, foul language amount to a violation of the Electoral Act. And there are specific sections there, sections 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, uh, saying that in fact there could be penalties uh, for this uh, use of intemperate uh, language. The PDP may hide under the uh, cover that uh, Okay, they are responding to uh, uh, Ashwa Jubala Metinubu saying that uh, um, uh, vice, uh, former Vice President Atuku Abubaka is over ambitious and uh, ungrateful. And hence they've come at him with, with uh, the kitchen uh, uh, sink and everything else inside the kitchen, including knives, and threw everything at him. But you see, we have to go to the basic principle that this business or campaign must be conducted in a civil manner, in a decorous manner, without, you know, uh, the politicians uh, abusing each other. Nigerians are not interested in abuse. Nigerians are interested in how they want to solve the problem that uh, Nigerians uh, face going forward. Uh, the uh, PDP spokesperson, uh, speaking on behalf of his boss, says, Oh, Ashwa Jibola Metinubu does not want to go, come for a debate, and that they are inviting him to a full television interview. Okay, that may be an uh, excuse, but all the other argumentum ad hominem in that uh, statement, I think it's simply overboard. The second point is that this proves the point that uh, some people have made, that perhaps the surrogates of the uh, presidential candidates, their spokespersons, should also be made to sign peace accord because violence takes many forms. You know, sometimes uh, uh, some people can, can, can have diarrhea of the mouth that can cause uh, 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 violence. And which was why the INEC chairman was saying the Constitution, the Public Order Act, the Police Act, and also specific sections of the Electoral Act 2022 do not allow for the use of foul language that can cause public disorder. And unless INEC and the relevant agencies begin to apply sanctions under the law. You know, I hope this, this kind of situation will not completely uh, degenerate. Uh, the uh, Tinubu camp has not yet responded to this attack, but uh, 
I don't know what they are going to throw. Maybe they too will enter the kitchen and look for whatever weapons are still available and throw back. But that's not what Nigerians want. That's not what the guidelines and the uh, relevant laws uh, recommend. So maybe the surrogate will also have to sign a peace accord. The third point. Uh, uh, the presidential candidate of the PDP was saying that, uh, oh, perhaps uh, Ashwa Ajobola Tunumbu should be given the uh, honor of the Grand Comedian of the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria. Well, the only man I know who bears that title, GCFR, is uh, Bengadi Nkadi first, <laughs> the popular comedian, you know, who's, who introduces himself as Benga Adeyinka, the first GCFR. But maybe there is still space for that. But you see, as a, a political uh, attack, I think it's a bit off color. And we hope that, uh, you know, language, the place of language in political campaign will be something that, uh, you know, both the uh, political leaders and their surrogates will pay specific attention to. It may provide entertainment, but it takes attention away from the major issues that concern us mm -hmm. as a people. It takes attention away from the priorities that Nigerians have defined and that we continue to emphasize and underline on this program, namely issues about the economy, issues about uh, infrastructure, issues about the future of Nigeria. I think when people show you they have believed them, and this is a representation of our political class, and these are people that want to run Nigeria, a country that, are, that is currently on its knees as we speak, a country that is suffering, that is choking, that is reeling from unemployment, poverty, but a country that has so much potential to do well because these same leaders disrupted that potential and ruined the prospect of the country. It is a sad reminder of the kind of political class we have. I condemn in totality the PDP campaign saying that the APC presidential candidate is a comedian. That's not the kind of rhetorics we want. If you want to disagree with candidate, disagree with them on the policies and their issues. I would have thought that the PDP will write an op-ed about what they don't like about the APC manifesto. That will be issue-based. But also I condemn in totality what the presidential candidate of the APC has constantly done, abusing his political adversaries. Words like they'll labor in vain. Words like don't even mention that party. Words like tear tear umbrella. Words like that are not good. So now I'm condemning both parties. And I also condemn any party that will come and rain abuses in. As for gaffes, yes, the APC presidential candidate has made a lot of gaffes. Gaffs are a dime, a dozen now. Almost every outing, there's a gaff. But what is most important for me is that we need to have a process that is transparent. And that's why I'll say, going forward in our electoral process, presidential candidates must be able to submit to us medical reports. They must also be able to submit to us their tax returns. Because you see, if you want to get into a university in Nigeria, You'll do medicals, and your medicals go to the university authorities. If you want to get a job, you do medicals. Why is it that for the top job, they cannot show us medical reports, and they cannot show us tax returns, and they cannot, you know, be very honest and open with us as regards everything? So that's the way forward, to be able to settle all of this so that we can interrogate the candidates better. But please, I want the candidates to stay on the issues because this country is bleeding. And I'm very sad at the way the campaigns are going for 2023. I must express my sadness. All we hear every day, abuses, abuses, abuses. Enough of all of this. Can we talk about the issues? Can we just talk about the issues of the campaign ground and stop all these abuses? You guys don't even know children are watching. Don't you even know children, six-year-old, ten-year-olds are watching? Is that the kind of morals you want to impact in the children? We need to do better. Isn't the suffering and the chaos going on in this country enough for you to only tackle the issues? Enough of all of this. And the surrogates that write all sorts of message. Surrogates are direct representative of the people that they surrogate for. 
except we have the candidates come out and say, no, I'm not going to abuse the person. Even if I'm going to have disagreements with him, I'm going to have disagreements with him based on policies. And in case you don't know presidential candidates, please go watch the video of John McCain in 2008. When some supporters of John McCain were abusing Barack Obama and said he was an Arab, he was this, he was that. And John McCain picked up the microphone from them and said, no, he's not Arab. He loves America just like I do. We just have differences on policy and the way to run America. He's a good family man that loves this country. I think candidates should emulate the late American Senator John McCain things like this. Let's keep it clean. Let's keep it issue-based. And all of us, all the presidential candidates have aired as regards abuses. The APC, the PDP, other political parties. It is time to stop it and keep it clean and think of the nation. Nigeria first. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been educated with this video. I hope you have learned something from the video you just watched. Please go to the comment section and put down your comments. Whatever you think about the video you have watched, or anything you have learned that you wanted to share together, go to the comment section and keep yourself busy. It's a free place where people share their opinion. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time a video comes out. And also, share the video to your family and friends. Share it to all platform so that people can get aware of what is happening in the world, mainly in the contraption called Nigeria. We have to keep people on their toe, keep people informed on what is going on. That is exactly what we are doing. Every video you are watching in this channel is for the purpose of education and nothing more. Thank you so much for watching and remember us. Bye-bye. See you again.